I would say this, the CJ getting is the CJ that's always been here, you know, like I don't plan on changing no time soon. I mean, I kind of was uh, the same way last year, of course, like um, had some success, but like I always remember like how quick they love you is how quick they hate you. So, you know, I'm head down working, tunnel vision on just my goals and these team goals that we have. And, you know, what happened last year happened, like, but it'll never, you'll never be able to get that back. Um, and like that's success and failure. So you learn from it, you move on, you forget about it, and now it's time to work from now on. So, um, and you know, walking around the street, like, you know, I get a little more recognition and like people noticing me, but you know, I just try to show love, you know, let people know that I am a normal person that just, you know, plays football on TV sometimes. So um, I really, I think I'm pretty normal. I don't know, but uh, you know, I'm blessed to be in this man for sure. Uh, yeah, I mean, I watch a little bit of everybody around the league, you know. I watch Buffalo, I watch the Rams, I watch Minnesota, um, I watch Kansas City. Um, Lions are a great team to watch offensively. Um, so I learn from everybody. Um, but, yeah, I mean, Steph is somebody who definitely um, can open up your playbook. And But we have all of those guys around. He'll say that, too, you know. So it's, it's, uh, it's five-headed monster, you know. So it's definitely a... Super dope to have, you know, just a, a bunch of options. So, you know, as a result, expectations are a little bit higher. So how are you guys as a team been handling just kind of like the outside noise of people expecting you guys to do really good things this year? Just work, you know. Uh, that's all it's about is just working. Um, and, you know, either you do it or you don't. You know, we're the ones on the field that got to go figure it out. And, you know, I think we'll do that. We're, we've been playing ball since we've been kids. and. You know, it's not going to be easy. It's going to be harder. You know, we have a target on our back this year. And, you know, that's how you should want it, you know. And that's what I'm used to playing at Ohio State. And, you know, I'm just, I'm really, you know, honored and blessed to have the teammates that I do to, to want that challenge and for guys that want to come and play here because, you know, this isn't, this Texan team isn't for everybody. It's hard here. And, um, you know, we're, we're blessed enough to play a game that we've been playing since we've been kids. So, you know, um, I definitely do think that all the expectations, if we just work, I mean, everything will take care of itself. Story's already written. So, CJ, you mentioned earlier about the ownership of the offense. What do you consider yourself as far as the mastery level? And I know it's, it changes week to week the team that you got to deal with. But from your standpoint, your evolution, where do you think you're standing at now? You know, I'm still young in the game. You know, I'm still uh, pretty new. You know, like I'm, it's only year two for me, so I have a lot to learn. Um, I want to get better. I'm willing to get better. And I'm willing to be vulnerable about that, you know, and I ask questions, I ask hard questions, you know, and uh, I want to know why I'm doing what I'm doing. And, and, you know, and last year I got to see a lot of uh, success from that. Also, some things that I need to get better at. So, you know, it's a balance of not just shooting yourself in the foot, but also holding yourself accountable when you need to, while also raising yourself up and staying confident. So, you know, um, that's kind of where I'm at now, um, most definitely. Last one. Right now, you know, we, we got uh, the college football game out, so we're trying, to, we're trying to get that in the locker room so guys can play and have some fun with that. But, uh, yeah, those are, those are just, I mean, just like being boys. Like, there's no, there's no like, like, like secret sauce you put in there. It's just guys being guys, you know? Yeah, yeah, it's I like it, yeah, I like it, yeah. I, uh, they put the squabble in there, I, I need a check, you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> nah, it's all good, but nah, I think it's dope to see that. But uh, I wanted to say, man, uh, I'm praying for everybody for, from the hurricane, you know, uh, help is on the way. Um, me and my foundation are trying to help uh, right now as I'm speaking. So, you know, we're thinking about everybody who was affected. You know, we want to help. So, um, you know, we're praying for everybody. I hope everybody's getting their power back. Um, and, you know, we're trying to get people in the streets to get the debris and stuff off people's houses and gates and fences and stuff. So, you know, prayers out. And uh, if we can help by any way, just reach out to uh, my foundation, please, and we'll try. So thank you, guys. How y'all doing? Doing good. Yeah. Um, it feels good, you know. But last year is last year. It's over with. I feel like it's a whole new slate, whole new season. Great opportunity for us to go out and repeat what we did. You know, it's a lot of improvements for us you know, all around. And uh, I feel like this camp continues to stack, continue to build and work on us. What does this camp feel any different than the first camp? Um, like last year? Yeah. 
Um, a little bit, a little bit. You know, I feel like it's new juice, um, new energy, new players, man. I feel like the, the tempo is, is, is fun, you know. Um, practice is going to be competitive, fun, man. I feel like that's that's the best, man. Iron sharp is iron, you know. So I feel like it's the only way we're going to improve and make each other better. So on Sunday, it's going to be easier. Um, yeah, but I feel like it's, it's, it's really come down to the work you put in, you know, um, the work you put in the off season, you know, it, you, you build your confidence, and, um, your confidence on the plays and go out and just be yourself. Of course, a lot of attention, of course, a lot of attention is going to come towards watching Stephon Diggs being out yeah. on the field, but how good does it feel to have Tank back? It feels great, man. Great, man. I feel like just having all receivers back, man. You know, you don't want to have your brother missing. You know, just see him back, um, having fun. You know, playing the game that he loved, man. It's it's amazing to see. You know, just his recovery back. Um, you know, just be back with us, man. It's it's fun. You know, I feel like our receiver group, quarterbacks, O line, tight ends, just every the whole team, the whole squad, man. We solid. And I feel like for us, we gotta work, work on ourselves, man. Continue to build and uh, remember the mission. What have you learned from Stephon this far, and what yeah. was your reaction upon? Man, a lot, man. He's a vet. I've been watching Diggs, man, for a while. You know what I'm saying? Like, dude, when I was in middle school, he was Minnesota making plays. So it's just crazy that he's he's part of the squad, he's part of the team, man, and um, a vet in the room. Someone I can lean on, ask questions. Him, Woods, Noah, everybody. I feel like there's always room for improvement, always, you know, picking brains and knowledge, you know, from a vet, you know, that's been in the game for a minute. You know, he know how to go about his business, man, and uh, great. He part of his unit. Any specific tips or anything you share? I feel like it's just it's too many. Too many. I feel like it's just playing ball, you know, just different plays, different routes, you know, with the linebacker or the corner outside, you know, just different stuff, you know, just I feel like we all just learning from each other, talking, you know, he asking us, we asking him, you know, just we all just lean on each other, man. I feel like that's that's what you need, you know, as a team, you know, if you want to go to where you want to go. Uh, I feel like for us, man, it's just going out and do what we've been doing, you know, play the game we've been, we've been playing our whole life. You know, it's you know, it's a lot of expectation for us, but I feel like for us, man, you gotta block out the noise. You know, remember the mission, remember our goal. Take one day at a time, man, and um, just be ourselves. You know, I feel like you can't jump at the end of the season. We ain't even know yet. You know, you gotta see by tomorrow, day after that, after that. So I feel like for us, man, just keep stacking, keep building, and let the rest fall in place. Do you feel like this is things that you? gotten even better at yeah. since last year when you had your best season? Yeah, I feel like for me, man, just continue to um, work on my my explosiveness, um, being flexible, you know, being fluent. I'm a, I'm a big body, you know, I'm 6'4", you know, so it's tall. You know, I'm a big frame, so I feel like for me, man, just being able to bend, drop my weight, um, you know, just going up and high point the ball. So I feel like for me, man, it's, it's always just working on my craft. You never get comfortable. You know, you can't get complacent, man. I feel like that's where you lose the vision. You know, I just feel like for me, man, just continue to stack brick by brick, man, and um, reach my goal. You were pretty open with us last year about how different this season was. How different yeah. the feeling was in the building. The fact that you were fighting for a playoff spot was crazy mm -hmm. after the last couple of years. How different, what kind of taste did that give you coming into this year's camp? Mm -hmm. Just a different mental mindset. Yeah, I feel like it's the same. Same mindset, same energy, same goal, man. You know, um, last year it was good, but it wasn't good enough. You know, we, we didn't reach with that, that goal we wanted to. You know, we made it. First round playoffs, boom, lost, and then that was it. So I feel like this year, we can't have that same feeling. We know what it's like to win, keep going. So we feel like we're going to keep that feeling, um, keep the energy going, man. And I feel like for us, just, like I said, just one game at a time um, and have fun, be there for each other, and enjoy the moment. Yeah, when you talk, uh, you've heard somebody talk about this before, a couple of but from your own individual side, what have you seen in this progression of John Mitchell this offseason? From Mitch? Man, man, just just seeing him dial, um, dialed in, man, you know, just from his past, you know, he's been dealing with a lot, you know, just, just seeing him, you know, um, come in every day, you know, work on himself, work on his body, you know, the things he feel like he need to improve on, man, and, and it's showing on the field, you know, his, his the work he's been putting in the offseason, it's, it's showing, you know, I feel like for him, man, just for everybody, just keep going head down, you for me, like, just continue to improve, just 1% every day, man, but um, him, it's, it's impressive, man, just seeing his work ethic, man, and seeing, to see him just keep shining and progressing the way he is, man, it's, it's, it's amazing, you know, so for him, the sky's the limit. As a, you came. Oh, boy, uh, as a big body wide receiver, have That's you nice. watched much um, film of Andre Johnson? Yeah. What are your feelings about going yeah. to yeah. Kansas and playing there? Man, Dre, that dude is special. It's the reason why he's there, you know, it's the reason why we're going to see him um, be in the Hall of Fame, man, that dude, he's a legend, you know, so. I watched a lot of big body receivers, him, Julio, Larry Fitzgerald, uh, Michael Thomas.
You know, just a lot of guys like that, I feel like, that, that got the same body as me. You know, I watch how they release, watch how they, you know, they come out the breaks, things like that. Just being smooth, make everything look the same. I feel like that's what Dre did his career here, man. It's going up. Whatever ball in the air is coming his way is his. So I feel like that's the mindset. That's what I'm chasing, you know, trying to be like him. So that dude, he, he deserved it, for sure. So, how, how much better does it feel coming into this season knowing that that has already been done? Yeah. And now you can just really go out yeah. and focus yeah. on football. Man, it's a blessing, man. You know, um, you know, a lot of people don't don't get that second chance, get that second contract, man. But for for them to believe in me and um, put their trust in me for it to come a year early, you know, it, it means a lot. You know, it means they, they trust me, and uh, so I feel like on my end, I just got to put the work in. You know, they put all their chips in, so I feel like for me, I just gotta continue to show them, uh, continue to prove myself. Um, and continue to have fun. I feel like just can't get comfortable. You know, it's, it's there, but I feel like it's, it's much more to improve on. Always more improvement on my game, you know, so I feel like I'm not there yet. You know, I feel like I'm always, you know, itching to get better, itching to find what I need for my body and just to make plays for the team, you know. So this year, man, I feel like it's, it's going to be fun for everybody. You know, everybody just trust the process, dial in, be relentless, man, and be there for each other. Can't nobody stop that. It's part of the motivation also. Signed your deal, and then next thing you know, everybody else is signing deals, and they get yeah. more and more and more. Yeah. Is that what also <laughs> motivates you to get yeah. that next contract? Yeah, most definitely, man. I feel like it's it's, it's a lot more on the table. You know, I feel like it was just it's just a start for me. Um, so I feel like you got to build on it. You know, just continue to go. You know, continue to try to prove everybody right, prove myself right. You know, and um, just ball out, man. I feel like that's that's all I got. You know, just just keep being myself. Sure. Yeah, um, I wasn't here, so I was back in Georgia, thank God. Um, and I came back in the tree, fell in my backyard, and my power was off. But um, I hope everybody was was safe, and um, next time we have one, everybody continue to prepare the right way. So yeah. Yeah, I'm like I think last year I was like 248. And about the time we got to like the Ravens game, I was just like, I just can't last. Like, I feel like I was getting tossed around. So I kind of bulked up a little this off season, tried to keep my speed. Well, I did keep my speed. So I'm like 263 now. Um, I feel good. Some people still say I don't even look big. So I appreciate you for that. <laughs> As a finisher and in terms of having a more of a pass rush plan and yep. things that you have at your disposal, where do you feel like you're better specifically? Where do you feel like you're better specifically in terms of Finishing and having a pass rush plan, just a repertoire. Yeah, um, for me, I feel like that's the area I'm still working on right now. Um, me and Coach Burke was actually just talking. I think that's one thing that I'm continuing to keep getting better at. It's just working on my finish and working on my extension at the top of my rush and turning that corner. Um, that's something this whole off season I've been working on, and I'm excited to just keep seeing the progress um, and just keep building that one percent each day. What's different about you and your two? You know, you're not a rookie anymore. You're yeah. coming and you all out. What's, what's different for you and how did you Yeah, um, I feel like my focus, my focus is just less on what everybody has to say and more on God. Um, I think my biggest thing is knowing that, like I always tell y'all, like my approval comes from him, you know what I'm saying? And ultimately everything that I achieve in his lifetime, I'm putting him first for it because he's the reason why I'm here. And I think that's the difference. Like this year, man, I'm like, God, whether it's a good game, bad game, anything, like you're going to get the praise and glory for it. Like, I'm going to let you use me however you want to use me each game. And I just want to be a servant, be a leader, and be a blessing to my teammates and help them out in any type of way. So that's my whole, like, my whole thing coming into this year, man. It's like, God, however you want to use me, I just want to be a blessing to this team. Yeah, I think it's just a maturity, man, and just diving deeper into the word and spending this offseason 
you know, more in church and more in the Bible and learning myself more and just seeing, like, how the outside world is and learning, like, bro, like, and once you get to that spiritual level, I think it's like, bro, like, God is your your ultimate goal. Like, he's the one that wakes you up in the morning. Like, some person in somebody's basement don't wake you up in the morning. Like, they don't, their opinion doesn't matter. So my thing is, like, I want to put all my focus there and let God handle the rest. Well, your high school coach said that if, they, if somebody wanted to motivate you, yeah. And then you'll go out there yeah. and, and you'll get it done. They also told me that even during like the spring break, summer break, mm-hmm. that you would call them and say, well, what are you doing? Can you come to yeah. you know, work, do one-on-one drills? How do you keep that type of motivation going into your team? For me, I always feel like it's somebody trying to take my position. And it's somebody always behind me that's just like trying to come get what I, like I want. So like I always want to stay on edge. I always want to stay in front. I always want to stay up to date with like, whatever I got going on, man. And that was my whole mindset, and that's my mindset now. It's like, how can I continue to get better? What am I doing to set myself apart from the rest of the competition? And that's just been my mindset the whole time. Nico's talked a lot about confidence after the guys that you're under the belt. Yeah. Is that part of your game that you're more confident in this year than maybe a year ago? You know? Yeah, I would just say within the system, man, like um, not reading, not thinking, and just going and just being free and just playing my freest. And I think this OTA and going into this training camp, I kind of feel that. Like, I'm more free. I know the system. I know what I can do. I know what I can't do. But I know I can be myself within the system. The way from the field, how, how important was it for you to have the first annual football camp and to get back to South Georgia right now? Yeah, it was really important. Like, in Georgia, like, it's not that many camps down in the South. It's always going up north. I know when I was younger, going to Georgia for 100, an hour away. $45 camp, and I was like, man, like, I want to go back to my community where it all started, have a free camp for those kids, because they deserve it, man. It's a lot of talent down there, and I just want to show them that anything is possible, and the biggest goal is just always giving back to your community and helping the younger generation. Well, what have you been learning from Daniel Hunter, and what's the relationship like that you've already started? Yeah, man, I've been learning a lot from him. Um, he's been great. Um, I, I, commend, I commend him a lot just by the way he works with his hands. He does a really good job, and that's everything that he tries to do for us. Like, we do a lot of hand work, a lot. Of, it's like karate a little bit, but like, he's so good with his hands, and he's been teaching me that a lot. How were the uh, acting skills that you do? How was your acting? <laughs> you gotta have to ask CJ that. Mine wasn't as good as his, man. How do you have to do multiple takes or anything like that? Multiple takes. We was there from like 10 a.m. to 9 p.m., man. No, I'm just playing. Okay. Seven. Like Cobra Kai, right? Yeah, like Cobra Kai, man. <laughs> well, you, you met, I know in part of your family, you always talk about, you know, your sisters. And you, you know, I know you had one sister that's really critical on your play and yeah. everything. And, and you talked about how you ended the season and how you got tossed around. Did she reach you to ride at, at the end of the year? No, they cut me some slack because they knew I was hurt towards the end. Yeah. So they cut me a little bit of slack. But believe, they've been on me this offseason. They've been on me. I, I, I had to wake up early every morning just to get away from them, man. They're like, when are you going to go work out? When are you going to go do this? And I said, can I, just, can I just do my schedule? Can I have my schedule? But I love my family to death, and that's why I appreciate them so much, because not only do I push myself, but they push me as well. Yeah, um, I would just say the, the bonding and keep coming together, man. I think we are further ahead of that than we were last year. Like, even with all the new additions, it just feels like we've been together for a while now. With everybody that's been here, like, or in all the new guys, it just seems like we've been playing together for about a year or two now. And it just shows, like, the type of guys that we have in this building. Yeah, man, I think my biggest thing, I just want to get bigger, stronger, faster. And I think those are the areas that I really improved on and have more mobility and flexibility to be able to get in some of the positions, to bend a little better, to get off blocks a little better, and to use my hands a little better. So um, those are all the areas that I feel like I've been taking the necessary steps to, you know, keep, continue to keep improving. You know, you do our league on the field, but what did you do off the field in order to have a better uh, presence in the locker room? Yeah, man, um, a lot of self-evaluation um, and just building my confidence and not being scared to say stuff sometimes and being more calm um, and being able to talk and stuff like that and being able to, like, let my passion come out but reel back on my passion a little bit and uh, just be more relaxed and calm about it. Because people think you guys do really good things. How do you think you guys are handling the outside noise? Yeah, coach hit it on the head yesterday, man. And I know just from the players, man, like the expectation is always going to be the expectation. Like nobody 
on the outside is going to have a bigger expectation than the on the inside of the building. And right now, our expectation is just building that building, building a tall building, man. But it starts with our foundation of coming out here, getting 1% better, everybody keeping their head down and just working. Thank you. Thank you. I got you.